Attack on Titan is coming to VR? Oi, 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 oi. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we'll be discussing this today. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. A few years ago, I became a huge fan of Attack on Titan. The gripping story, intense battles, gruesome imagery, memorable soundtrack, and well-developed characters made it an unforgettable experience and reflects the complexity of the character situations. So, when I heard about the upcoming VR game Attack on Titan Unbreakable, it felt like a dream come true. Last year at the Summer Gaming Showcase, we got a concept trailer for the game which built up a lot of excitement. However, after a delay pushed its release to this year, the first gameplay footage finally dropped, and I have to say, it sucks. <laughs> Considering the MetaQuest's capabilities, the graphics are surprisingly lackluster, opting for a cell shaded style that doesn't do the series justice. But it's not all bad news. The game does have some promising features like dismemberment physics and realistic animations when titans grab you. So there is potential for this game to be great. In fact, you'll get to decide for yourself when early access begins on July 23rd, available for $4.99. The universe first team plans to release the game in chapters, which suggests we might see a developing story and full voice acting. However, the low price could indicate that the game has limited content. The first two chapters will be released this month at that price, with additional chapters and co-op mode to follow. Although, do you know what could make such a great Attack on Titan game? Firstly, the game should capture the essence of Attack on Titan by reflecting the story's core theme. Conf Confronting our own capacity for selfishness and evil, it should serve as a mirror, reminding us that deep within, there is a version of ourselves willing to sacrifice anything for personal gain. And in my opinion, aside from realistic graphics, the key to truly sell an Attack on Titan game is in the mechanics, particularly the use of ODM gear that lets us traverse the world effortlessly. I found a perfect example of this in a VR fan game that captures captures the essence of the series. Recently, popular YouTubers Beardo Benjo and Awaken Toast played Slavka's Attack on Titan fan game, and I wanted to share it with you. In this PC VR game, you get to become characters from the anime and experience the thrill from their eyes. You can play it with your Quest headset and as your fellow Survey Corps comrade with the Quest 3. I'll guide you through the game. Together, we'll aim to become human fidget spinners like Heicho. This game offers you the choice of enjoying it as an open world or playing within the Shikanshina district as a closed map. Once you spawn in, you'll be greeted with your ODM gear, bread, a potato, a refill gas station, and a horse. So wait, where did my horse go? Hey, come back! Once you're equipped with your ODM gear, you can pull your blades out from both sides of your waist by hovering over the handles and pressing the grip button. To run in the direction you're facing, you'll need to swing each of your arms. Pressing the triggers on your controllers will allow you to shoot your grapples. Aiming both grapples at an object will pull you in that direction. By pressing the left joystick, you can speed up in the direction you're facing while using gas. In the open world version of the game, you'll need to keep track of your health, gas, and blades. The food will replenish your health, the refill gas stations will top up your ODM gear's gas, and new blades are available next to the stations. It took me a while to realize that one of my blades were broken, so keep an eye on your gear. What I found about this game's ODM physics is that they are very complex and realistic, despite being occasionally janky. Ouch. Can someone get me down? Using the ODM gear definitely took a lot of getting used to. Then again, Aaron had a rough time training with the ODM gear too. Yet the game's physics allow you to perform a lot of the tricks. Tilting your head allows you to do a barrel roll while flying through the air. Using the right joystick on your quest lets you flip forward in mid-air. This means you can zip through the districts with style. But how do we fight titans in the VR game? These naked giants unsettle us with their eerie presence. Their design perfectly harmonizes with the emotions they're trying to 
evoke creepy, chaotic, and unpredictable killing machines. After physically spawning as many titans as you want or encountering them, you can grapple past them to slice their legs, just like in the anime. After they fall on their knees, you have a few seconds to grapple onto their nape and take them out for good. But be careful, sometimes the ODM physics will enable you to swing around them by accident, and if they grab you and manage to eat you, well, it's instant death for you. But you can definitely get them to drop you if you grapple away or slice a part of their body to drop you. On the other hand, if you play as a titan shifting character in this game, you're able to titan shift as well. You can transform into a titan just like in the anime by either pressing your hand to your headset as if you're biting your hand, or using the pocket knife in your right chest pocket. To cut your virtual hand, I tried to test my strength against Annie in Eren's titan form and Eren's normal form, and in Eren's titan form I managed to ragdoll her into the back rooms. The titan shifting was so awe-inspiring that she must have forgotten to harden, but in Eren's normal form, let's just say I missed the nape. <laughs> But if you're traveling on the plains in the open world, your best bet would be with a horse. But how do we ride a horse in Attack on Titan VR? Once you tame it, you would use the grip buttons on your controller to climb on its back. Then keep holding those buttons while you control the horse's movement with your reins. Isn't the world of VR amazing? Regardless, this is the most detailed Attack on Titan VR game I've ever seen. And the best part is, you get to try this game yourself for free. This game does not have a campaign and you do have to spawn the NPCs and characters. However, it manages to recreate the feeling you have when watching the anime. What it was like to be in the shoes of these characters. Are you an Attack on Titan fan? If so, would you give the anime or the VR game a chance? Give us your heart and share your thoughts in the comments below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe for more VR content like this, like the video, and join my Discord server for more discussions. Thank you for watching, and that's all.